Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture series on British history and the history of England. Today we are with an interesting topic medieval english literature or we can also say middle english literature medieval english language and literature 1066 ad to 1500 ad middle english literature 1066 ad to 1500 ad The Old English period came to its end with the Norman conquest of England in 1066. The Old English period came to its end with the Norman conquest of England in 1066. In the Battle of Hastings in 1066 between the Normans and the Harold Harold was defeated in the battle of Hastings in 1066 the Normans and uh, Harold between the Normans and Harold Harold was defeated then the middle english period began after the norman conquest the middle english period began The sophisticated people used the French and the Latin and the common people used English. The sophisticated people used the French and the Latin and the common people used English. There are three main categories of Middle English literature: religious, courtly love, and Arthurian. There are three main categories of Middle English literature: religious, courtly love, and Arthurian. The Middle English period ended in about 1476 when William Caxton introduced printing press to England. The Middle English period. Entered in about one thousand four hundred seventy-six or fourteen seventy-six, we can say, when William Caxton introduced the printing press to England. After this began the modern English period. After this began the modern English period. A deeper grammatical changes happened in the Middle English period. Deeper grammatical changes happened to English language during the Middle English period. All the letters were pronounced in the Middle English period. For example, night was pronounced as knight. all the letters were pronounced in the middle english period so for example the word night was pronounced as knight there were so many adaptations of french words so many adoptions of french words for example palace art paintings army charity etc There were so many adoptions of French words during the Middle English period. For example, the words like palace, art, painting, army, charity, etc. There were also the uses of special symbols. For example, yog and ash. There were also the uses of special symbols, for example, yog, ash, etc. In the medieval period, John Wycliffe translated the Bible into English language in one thousand three hundred eighty-two. 
in the medieval period. John Wycliffe translated the Bible into English language in 1382. The greatest writer of the Middle English period is Geoffrey Chaucer, who wrote the work The Canterbury Tales. The greatest writer of the Middle English period is Geoffrey Chaucer, who wrote the work The Canterbury Tales. Some of the most famous Middle English poets include the following. Julian of Norwich, the Catherine group of poets, John Gower, the Paul poets, William Langland, Thomas Mallory, Lehman, etc. Some of the most famous Middle English poets include the following Julian of Norwich, the Catherine group of poets, John Gower, the Pearl Poets, William Langland, Thomas Mallory, Lehman, etc. Some of the prominent Middle English prose writers include the following Dan Michael, Sir John Mandeville, and Sir Thomas Mallory. Some of the prominent Middle English prose writers include Dan Michael, Sir John Manville, Sir Thomas Mallory. Now let's analyze some of the most famous works in the Middle English period. Mary's Lace. Mary's Lace. One important work of the Middle English period was a poem written by Mary de France. It was titled Mary's Lace. It was written when Mary was in the royal court of England. Mary's Lace. One important work of the Middle English period was a poem written by Mary de France titled Mary's Lace. It was written when Mary was in the royal court of England. Another work was Roman de la Rose. Roman de la Rose. Another most important work is Roman de la Rose. It is written in two parts by two different writers. Guillaume de Loris and uh, Jean de Mon. Another most important work is Roman de la Rose. It is written in two parts by two different writers Guillaume de Loris and uh, Jean de Mon. Another work is Armella. Another important work is O. Melum. It is written by O. O. Melum is another important work in the medieval English period and the work O. Melum is written by O. And the next work is Prick of Conscious. Uh, there is another famous work titled The Brick of Conscious, written by Kerza Mundi. Brick of Conscious is another famous work, written by Kerza Mundi. The next work is Layman's Bread. The man, Layman, wrote the work Layman's Bread. Layman's Brute, written by Layman. The man Layman wrote the work Layman's Brute. The next work is The Story of England Handling Sin. The Story of England Handling Sin. 
Robert Manning wrote the book The Story of England Handling Sin. Robert Manning wrote the book The Story of England Handling Sin. And the next book is Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. It is a book which is a major medieval English romance. It is one of the best Arthurian stories. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight is a major medieval English romance. It is one of the best Arthurian stories. So these are the main ideas about medieval English literature and English language or we can say Middle English language and literature. That's all for today. In the next class we will meet again with some other topics.